What is going on, Team Bravo? Damn. Two days back to back. Here we go. Out and about. Going for a little scoop. End of the day. I had to update the firmware on the Insta360. Got that done. Hopefully we don't get any corrupt files. If you haven't checked out that video, man, there's a short on the channel. And uh, it's pretty awesome. Wifey and I coming home from the Cycle Gear meetup, the first one of 2024. We had a fun, exhilarating, and engaging ride home, I would say. Got my face mask in the way. Oh, we got a new image facility. Who is that? It's, uh, Lithia. It's a Lithia dealership. Latham Ford used to be a small family owned mom and pop kind of shop down the road, run down facility. They bought this land. Funny thing about this land right here is when the dingbats at the Paula were trying to put the dealership in front of our house, I proposed this as prime real estate for a dealership with Wade Road access. And hey, what do you know? A few years later, and look at what we got. A big group who's really, really smart. What? Latham Ford's on the other side of the circle, going towards Cahoe's on the left. Like, run down. Right here, if you just went straight through the circle, it would be... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, you go, you go left on nine... And then you bang a right like you're going to Albany Broadcast, ABC Sports and Fitness. I think the ACO building. Yeah, it's over there. Anyway. Blah, 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 blah. I want to... I want to go wherever you go. Anywhere you go, I'll follow you. What happened? You want to go straight? I don't want to hit traffic. Traffic's all northbound right now. So, yeah, I guess if you if you want to go, okay. Where to? Yeah. Okay. It's like we got a little traffic. So let's talk about where we are. That's the Albany Airport. It's right over there. Um, if you're, maybe you pass through this area. 
That would mean um, maybe we're going to like Saratoga Springs. That's where the uh, the ponies run end of July throughout August, and that ends like the first week in September. Um, could be north of that would be like Lake George, and you're in the Adirondack Mountains. You could go west of here, get into the Finger Lakes, Lake Ontario. Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo. If you were traveling from downstate, you know, just outside of the city or maybe the city. If you were coming from like Massachusetts, chances are you'd be coming over from uh, I 90, which is right down here. We're actually going to I 90. So, anyway, that's where we're at. That's where we're based out of. So we're southbound on what we call the Northway, which is 87, Interstate 87. Fun fact, I don't know if you know, interstates that end or odd numbers go north to south, and if they end at an even number, they go east to west. So if you didn't know, fun facts, man. Now you know. So we're basically, we're right outside the uh, capital of New York State, Albany. Last I checked, we were, we're like a mid-sized market. Our Nielsen DMA, which spans all the way up to Plattsburgh, it's kind of like if you were measuring your chunk from your butt hole, but that's the market, that's the area, and we were ranked uh, 57. So there's about a million people in our Nielsen DMA. Uh, Buffalo is a little bit bigger. They were like 57. So we're just cruising right now. Just cruising. Fourth gear. You know, when I'm riding like this, obviously I'm keeping I'm keeping an eye on my wife. I'm scanning, I'm checking my mirrors. And I'm scanning ahead, right? I'm going left to right, right to left. I'm giving a quick scan. No, nah, I'm just talking in the video. And the sun's peeking through. I hope the camera ca captures that. There's like rays of light shining down. That's always giving me a feeling of like hope. You know, it just kind of brightens your day, even though it, the sun's not that bright. Makes, gives me a sense of comfort. Everything's going to be all right. Gotta love God. Does work in uh, very mysterious ways at times. Sometimes he's up in your face, too. That's what you want to do. So when it comes to my posture... You know, my arm, I'm not locking my arms, right? That's super important. I'm not, I'm holding on with my legs right now. I'm not gripping the grips. And uh, my comfort zone, I don't know if it's from back in 05 when I was wheeling these roads, like, all the time. But I just, 
I like two fingers on my clutch. I don't know why. I'm just, I cover my clutch. Maybe it's for that downshift. Engine braking. Whatever. Rarely am I like that. I don't know, is that a good or a bad thing? If you know if it's good or bad and the reasoning, drop it in the comments. Would love to hear it. And, you know, while I'm chit-chatting here with you, the goal of, uh, the goal of the video is to just share some of the things that I think about and go through. My processes, my methods, when I'm out riding, my techniques. Hey, if you don't know, it's 792 million on the Mega and 559 million on the Powerball. Well, the wife says we're going to win it. We're going to win it. Okay. March 13th. If we win the lottery tonight, I'm going to um I'm going to give one of the bikes away early. But only if we win the lottery. Okay? Are you in agreement with that? Winner's choice. She said, sure. It's a majority vote right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ground round. <laughs> Pretty sure. Me neither. Look at this guy's checking you out hard. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah? Good talk. <laughs> yeah, you know he low-key snapped a picture of that. Yeah, he did. So, this is the fine, fine city of Albany. Um, fine city. We're heading towards downtown. I guess this would be... Oh, we're heading east right now, right? What is this, 50? Or 5? 
I don't I don't know. Central's five, right? Oh, this might not be central? Pretty sure it's central. Yeah, it's kind of cool down there. Pretty sure it is. Copper. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Anywhere around here? Uh... Is this Henry Johnson, right? No, it's Lexington. Okay. There's actually some great architecture around Albany that are like hidden gems. Uh, these beautiful, like, early century 1900 buildings. Capitol building. I don't know when that was originally created, but. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Henry Johnson Boulevard, so this connects Washington Park to um, essentially Loudonville, right? So, we, we can get on the highway, I guess, if, if that's cool with you. Uh, wh which way? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. You think, se is seven been paved? Or is it still a shit show? I mean, kind of, don't you? So anyway, the park. Uh, 
There we go. There's what we're looking for. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, quads, dirt bikes, I mean. So, uh, this is Arbor Hill, where we're at right now. And if you're you're from the area, you know the area. You know, we come down here, scoot through. We've linked up with some awesome kids. You know, they like fucking chopping, chopping the throttle at the light. We got a little wheelie show. Put on a couple wheelies here and there. Small time stuff. No more big time for me. I retired from that. That's not my thing no more. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Uh-oh. There's the boys. Yeah, there is. So we're we're going 90, 787 north to 7 west. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, city riding. Gotta let them breathe. Oh, I've been meaning to bring this up too, like... I'm always chewing gum when I ride. It's, it's just something that helps me focus and relax a little bit. So, sorry for all the chewing and the smacking my lips in your ears. I'm going to try and work on that. Oh, yeah. Potholes galore. This guy's still getting over? What's he doing? This guy ahead of us. All right. Seven eighty seven, baby. Northbound. This is my old stomping grounds here. I've wheelied end to end on this road on my O uh, five Jixer six hundred and. Back in 05, you couldn't go too far. Oh, it smells like shit here. If you're from here, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wifey's telling me how bad it smells. It smells like a toilet. It does smell like shit. But you couldn't go too far on this road back in the day without seeing fucking patches of rubber laid into the fucking road one after another after another usually it'd be at like the end of the straightaway guys 
you know, not not making it around the turns. But uh I made it around the turns just fine. Fucking hung some serious fucking wheelies. One time in I was just telling the story earlier to uh this new dude I met. Awesome. I was wheeling. I actually pulled over like right up right there. Just before the bridge. And um I'll show you where I picked it up. But the trooper, I had no idea it was behind me for the wheelie. Pull over right here. This fucking guy was behind me the whole time. We actually had it on video. And I have no idea where that footage is. Um, it was burned on a DVD back in the day. So the wheelie started down here. I'll show you. But the guy shook my hand. Asked me if I had a plate. Asked me if I was legit. Didn't want to know my name. He was a state trooper. Didn't want to know my name. Didn't even ask me to take my helmet off. And, uh... He thanked me for stopping, for making him look good. Acknowledged that I knew what I was doing. And I think I made his day. I gave him a fucking hell of a show. Here's the Water Vleet Arsenal. It's where we make fucking cannons and shit for tanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for whatever. I'm still curious if 7 is paved, but whichever way you want to go. And that wheelie, it doesn't matter. Up to you. So that wheelie started right here, out of this turn. I'd come around that turn, set up, and full send it. Generally hanging them around 60. I'd pick them up from 55, hang them up like 60 to 70 in the balance point, clutch up, preload, stand up, front pegs, box stock, aside from cosmetics and a pipe, stock gearing, custom paint. I remember coming to a motorcycle call. Uh, I was working with my buddy Chico, Phil, and he did all the tows for 787 at a repair shop, towing company, and uh, he's still doing that to this day. What's up, Chico? Anyway, we get here, and it's a cruiser, and uh, ends up being a guy that I know. Um. Who I worked with, and he is weird, man. He was weirdo. And, uh, <laughs> he's on a gold wing. Still isn't paved. When are they going to fucking pave this? So he was on a gold wing and had this other dude I went to fucking school with on the back. They were like going to work or something. Were they both on one bike or one bike? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Weird enough. He was all right. As far as like physically, but still a fucking weirdo. This other dude I knew from back in the day. Um, he ended up crashing on this fucking road. And I think it was this road. 
and uh, paralyzed from the waist down. But he ended up riding again. Is he still riding to this day? I'm not sure. I'd love to find out. If he is, I'd love to fucking ride with him, catch up. It's only been like 20 fucking years. What's up, love? Okay, 